Hi, I am going to show you a little haul, a little mini haul I got from Silk Naturals uh, with products from their holiday collection, which they just released. And you know how much I love Silk Naturals. I talk about them all the time and I have so many of their lip products. And this is, I have a lot of these, um, tinted lip balms or lipsticks, whatever you want to call them, looking things. Love those. But, believe it or not, never tried their lip stains or their liquid lip glosses because these things are so glossy on their own that you almost don't need a lip gloss. And I, don't, I tend not to wear liquid lip glosses very often. Sorry, now I have to like put it back in the right spot. But the holiday release lip glosses, I don't know if they're a different formulation. They might be because they seem a little thick to be in one of those wand type applicators. So these might be completely different from their regular lip glosses, but I don't know. They come in these squeezy tubes like this. And um, the lip stains come in a typical lip gloss kind of wand tube container. And love the lip stain. I can't believe I didn't try these earlier. Um, I got two colors, one called Chloe, and I'm never going to wash these off my hand. I'm going to swatch these for you, but I swatched these yesterday when I got them, and I couldn't wash them off, to be quite honest with you. It took me until I showered this morning for them to come off my hand. <laughs> Chloe, which is a nice light pink color, and Trixie, which is a peachy orange color. So they look like this. You get a little wand applicator. And I actually really like that. I can get a really nice uh, pre uh, precise application. And I like how they are, um, you can almost use it like a, um, what are those? <laughs> like a lip liner pencil. Cause you get like a nice sharp line you know, when you draw with it and then it dries that way. So I really like the, my lips look so precise. I've never used a lip liner and I guess, you know, regular lip balms and lipsticks don't give you that precise looking edge. Um, so I really like that. This is a new discovery for me. I have Chloe on my lips. Really love it. Um, what happens with these, this is what they look like. This is Chloe and this is Trixie, is you have to give them a little bit of time and then the color really comes through. When I first put it on my lips, like doesn't it look so much brighter on my lips than it does in my hand? It, it just looks really light. I can almost barely see it. And then after some time, the color really starts coming out and it really starts turning this lovely pink color. Love it. So that's lip stains. I think I'm going to get more of those. They have a couple more colors that I haven't tried. And then I got a lip gloss called Kitten. And this is actually pretty much the same exact color as... I have no room for swatching this. As Dancing Shoes. Dancing Shoes was their um, gift with purchase color. I actually have it so I can show you. It was one of these. Um, and it was a gift with purchase, so it hasn't been released yet for sale. So if you really wanted it and you didn't get a chance to get it, pretty much identical color, but in a liquid lip gloss form. So this right here is, this is Dancing Shoes and this is Kitten. So they look pretty similar. And hopefully you'll be able to see all the really gorgeous sparkle in there. Isn't that so pretty? I think this is an awesome holiday color. If you want to look all sparkly. Love it. Um, and then this next color is called Koi. And this may not look like your typical lip gloss because it looks white. Or white with just like a slight tinge of pink but pretty much white. And that's what it is. It's a milky white sheer lip gloss. And there it is there. I think it has like a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer. Can't really see it on my arm, but if I look closely at the little tube, I can see it. 
but it's just such a small amount. Might as well just call it matte. Um, now the thing about this lip gloss is it's a really neat concept because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it over um, lip products that you want to lighten up and make them kind of more of a milky color but in reality it does work if you use it a certain way it's a little bit difficult so you don't want to use it you don't want to overuse it you don't want to put a thick layer on unfortunately it's kind of hard to get it to work over lip stains uh, because lip stains, you know, they just kind of dry onto your lips and then it's just a matte finish and it's pretty much it. Um, whereas this works better if it mixes with the lip product that you want to lighten. So say you want to lighten uh, one of their lip colors. Let me do um, this one, Provoke. If you apply it, um, if you put this on first and then you put the lip gloss on top, it might not mix as well and you might have, you know, sometimes something really light, it'll like settle in the lines of your lips going this way and you'll have like white, like lighter lines and it looks bad. So I like putting the lip gloss on first and then putting the lip product over top of it and it mixes better that way for me and it works pretty well. So let me show you. So you know how I swatched Koi already on my arm? So what I did here is, the color, this lip color is Provoke, by the way, is here's Provoke on its own, and here it is over Koi. So this way, it kind of mixes with it, and you get a lighter, more milky color. And you can do that with any lip products that you want to lighten. So I think this is really neat because... I know me personally, there's a lot of lip products that I want to lighten up sometimes because I'm so fair. They don't always look um, as light on me as I want them to. And check this out. This is gorgeous mango, which is their um, orangey peachy color applied over Koi. Isn't that the prettiest milky peach color? That is so gorgeous right there. And then here's mango by itself for comparison. I'm literally twisting my arm here to show you guys, but a really neat product. Just kind of work a little bit um, so you don't get that, those white lines that you can get in your lips. But other than that, I have like a million swatches everywhere. Other than that, it's really awesome. So really good purchase. Oh, I almost forgot. Angelic. Um, this is eyeshadow. I know it looks like a lip gloss, but this is a new thing that they released which are eyeshadow wands and it's basically just eyeshadow with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil um, that makes it less flyaway but it, it's actually still pretty flyaway you can see it on the wand right here the little eyeshadow crumbs so you have to be really careful when you pull it out because it kind of gets stuck in there like it's a pretty good um, you know the thing that brushes <laughs> Ah, did you see the powder go everywhere? I just can't pull it out without powder going everywhere. I have a hard time with it. But the color is pretty and the concept is nice. It's just a little messy. This is the color, by the way. It's a really pretty light, highlight, golden color. Pearly. Maybe a slight shimmer, but very small shimmer particles. Super pretty, little messy. I can see, you know, it's a neat concept for travel, but maybe as, you know, the more that you use it, I bet you this thing loosens up. Because that's one thing that I think they mentioned is that, you know, first they thought it was too messy of a product to release, but then they end up using it and using it, and it ended up working really well for them, you know, whoever tested it out and stuff. And... I was able to pull it out. You just have to try kind of harder and not really yank it out of there so that the powder doesn't go everywhere. But anyway, keep that in mind. I <laughs> just wanted to show you this product. And I also got sample of their cucumber peptide eye cream, which I have to use for longer to really know anything about it. But it's pretty nice. It sinks in well. 
and I actually got a full size of their lemon wasabi uh, blemish cream, but they accidentally sent me a sample, but um, I contacted them, so I'm sure after um, the holidays when they reopen, they'll send me the full size because they have really good um, customer service. So really wanted to try that because it has wasabi extract or something, which is in the awesome sauce serum, which I love. And so I'm thinking maybe it's because of that ingredient that I love it. And so I love this too. And oh, I guess there's more to show you. You know, I didn't have this. I didn't order this in this particular haul, but I just haven't shown this to you yet. I got their Stick'em Primer, which is a um, clear gel. And it's not an eyeshadow primer. It's an um, eyeshadow enhancer. And it's basically, if you have uh, heard of Fierne Pixie Epoxy, it's like that. It, you wear it over a primer because by itself it's not going to hold your eyeshadows. Uh, but it doesn't decrease their wear or anything. You just apply a thin layer and it just makes it a little bit tacky. So when you apply the eyeshadows, it's almost like you're applying them wet. And these are two eyeshadows that I have um, that I haven't showed you yet. This is called Phantom. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it over that stick and primer so you can kind of see um, the effect that it gives. It gives it a, like you're applying it wet kind of effect. So Phantom is a really pretty pinky, um, peachy color and then Propinquity? Propinquity? <laughs> I don't know. But that's another color, and this one's really cool because it's like a purple with a gold iridescent sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. Sorry, bear with me for just one minute more. So here they are. Um, this is Propinquity and this is Phantom. Here they are over the stick and primer so you can see, you know, how vivid they look and that really iridescence really comes out and um, they look almost metallic. And then here they are, uh, pro sorry, one second for my camera to focus, Propinquity and um, Phantom. So they, they're still really pretty but they look a little bit less intense as they do over the stick and primer. Or enhancer, rather, not primer, enhancer. So that is it. That's what I wanted to show you from Silk Naturals that I bought recently. And thanks so much for watching. I highly recommend the lip stains. <laughs> but I, I like everything that I got. I just am like in awe of the lip stain. I've never tried lip stains before, so um, I guess I've been really missing out. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.